Have you been collecting so much loot in Genshin Impact that the show Hoarders has paid you a visit? If so, this guide is for you. Today we're talking about how to get rid of items in Genshin Impact and maybe when or why you should get rid of them. Chapters are in the description below, and if you like what you're seeing today, go ahead and drop me a like, a subscribe, hit the bell, all the youtube -y things, or give me a follow on Twitch and let's play live together. You're watching Bronze Dad Plays, and today is more Genshin Impact. Your bag in Genshin Impact is vast. You're able to hold something to the tune of 30,000 items in there. But that being said, if you do want to get rid of some, you can delete items. If you open your inventory bag and you look in the bottom left corner, you will see a trash can. Go ahead and click on that and that's going to allow you to select items to delete. You can select which items you want to delete as well as the quantity before finally hitting destroy. But do note, the items will be destroyed, cannot be undone, and you don't get anything for destroying them, just extra space in your bag. However, this isn't going to work on every item. Multiple comments on my books video, link in the upper right right now, have asked how you delete books out of your bag, and unfortunately, y you can't. In fact, Genshin Impact does a good job of protecting all of your important items. You'll see a variety of important, hard-to-find alchemy items that are grayed out, as well as pretty much anything that's four star or above. All of the items used for talent, ascension, and level up are also blocked, so that way you don't lose any potential character progression. Anything equipped on your characters right now will be blocked as well, just so you don't accidentally remove anything from them. If you really feel passionately about deleting these items equipped to your characters, just go in, unequip them, and then you can delete them to your heart's desire. So since most items can't actually be deleted, just how do you go about getting rid of them? Well, that's the rest of this video. First up, let's talk about your materials tab. Here you're going to find a lot of items that you pick up throughout the world, which are most likely to bloat your bag. In the first section, you'll find ores, which are perfect to take to the blacksmith. Here you can refine them into enchantment items. However, I would be cautious doing too many of these as those same exact ores are used for high powered equipment. The next section of the materials bag is full of things like gems and frogs and lizard tails and flowers and butterflies and all the little fancy things you find. These are used for alchemy. Alchemy can be used for making potions and oils as well as ascension items. Because a lot of these materials are a bit rarer in the world, I would honestly hold back and only craft these as needed. If you do have a large bulk of items like masks or secretions, go ahead and build some, but again, I would wait and find out what you need first. The remainder of your materials tab is going to be food items, and these can be crafted at campfires everywhere as well as the restaurants in town. Cooking does use a lot of materials, especially when you start looking at the rare recipes that will use a variety of materials and multiple of each. Some of these will also require crafted materials, which uses up more things from your bag, so check these out. But one word of caution, some of these crafted materials have the same exact common ingredient. For instance, cheese, butter, and cream all share milk as their primary ingredient, so make sure you know what you need to craft before you start crafting. Your next bulkiest bag is likely to be your weapons and your artifacts. I'm sure you've got this locked down, but refining and enhancing your equipment is one of the primary methods of enhancing your strength in Genshin Impact. Refining requires two of the same exact weapon in order to improve your rank with that weapon and all of the buffs associated with it. This can be pretty difficult when you start to look at four star items, but three star items you should get more than enough junk in order to fully refine all of your equipment. Enhancing takes any equipment and levels up your weapon. The enhanced section does have some easy selections such as 1 star, 2 star, and 3 star auto adds. When you choose to select auto add here, it will try and take any consumables it can to level up your item. Of course, if there's nothing available, it's not going to have anything for you. But you can always go ahead and click the plus button and add any weapons you see fit. Just be careful not to spend any uh, duplicates that you want to use for refining. In my case, this large weapon already has been fully refined on another character, so I can use all of the dupes in order to get more experience. Artifacts work basically the same exact way, but enhancement only, so you can auto-add materials to your heart's content and level up their stats as well as get additional buffs. One note on artifacts is that they do come in sets. You're going to want to be very careful that you do not accidentally remove your ability to create set bonuses. A quick way to check this is to go to your artifacts page and at the top where it says slot, go ahead and click on set. 
This allows you to select your items purely by the set they belong to, and some of these sets with a lower number of items available means that you may not have high level items. In this case for the Lucky Dog set, I am utilizing three different components that are two star, so if I were to auto select my two stars, these could accidentally get used. It's usually a good idea to manually select anything two star and above. The next bag portion we're going to talk about is your character development section. Here you'll find all of your leveling, ascension, and talent items. Leveling up is as simple as can be. You can grind out levels with slimes for 12 XP at a time, but your primary method of leveling up will be these items. The green item gets you 1000 XP, blue gets you 5000, and purple gets you 20,000. There is a gold cost associated with using these items, however that gold cost scales equally across each item, so you're not getting more value from using any one. Simply just use the item to level up and waste as little XP as possible if you max cap. When it comes to ascension items, you're probably not going to be complaining about having too many. You're probably going to be short on items. And this is where going to the ascension tab and looking at the item and seeing where it comes from comes in handy. You may find that you can actually craft these or you may find that you have to go to a specific location to find them. If you do have to go to a specific location, it'll be noted on the item, so chase it down and get them levels. A lot of these ascension items can be easily found in domains. If you go to your map and select a domain, you'll be able to see what potential rewards there are, and these change daily for most domains. Same thing, go ahead and hover over the item, make sure it's what you want, and then go after it. Make sure to complete every domain at least once so you can advance your adventure rank, but this is one of the primary end game pathways, so if you don't feel like doing this now, just know you're going to do lots of this later. Complete those easy domains, run to the end, and be showered in loot. One of the last tabs to talk about is your precious items tab. Here's where you can find everything that is extremely valuable, either hard to find in the world or has been obtained from the gotcha mechanics such as wishing. Now I don't recommend trying to get rid of anything in this tab, but if you really feel like it, there are a couple things you can go after. For instance, the sigils can be spent at the vendor with a diamond above their head. This is where you find rare and valuable artifacts that can only be bought by sigils. I would call these uncommon in the world, but you can find plenty, so go ahead and spend your heart's content. Star Glitter and Stardust, on the other hand, are extremely rare. Star Glitter allows you to purchase heroes directly, where Stardust allows you to get items or fates directly. Again, spend to your heart's content, but realize these are extremely difficult to come by, so you probably shouldn't be just trying to burn these. And that's our quick guide on how to get rid of items in Genshin Impact. Certainly there's a max cap to the bag, but you are not going to reach it in the early hours of the game, so go ahead and collect every single thing you find. You never know if it's going to be valuable or not, and if you do find later on, that it's not valuable sometimes you can delete it but other times just go ahead and craft all the items you need out of it it's better to have than not have and honestly 30,000 items is a lot of freaking items if you like this video or Genshin Impact go ahead and hit like to let me know subscribe for more content soon and until next time see ya oh I haven't played with this hammers here before oh my god but they pushed me in oh what I am standing on the... Oh my god, what?